Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. Today I'm going to show you something very fun. This is the little um, dress up die that I use, not the die, but the frame lid um, dress up. And I use, I prefer the one without the sleeve for what we're going to do for the lipstick uh, holder. I prefer the one without the sleeve. You still can do the one with the sleeve. It's just the one with the sleeve. It's rounded in the bottom so it won't unbalance. So I had to snip it a little bit so it stay up straight. So this one with the ruffle, it stay perfectly uh, straight easy. So you can use both of them. It's just if you use the one with the sleeve, then just snip the bottom so it's straight with your little older that I'm going to show you today. Are they the cutest thing? This it's exactly to put um, a lip gloss in it. I saw a picture on Pinterest and it was no direction at all. Well, you know me, if I see a picture, I will figure it out. So I make my own little box to put a lip gloss in. Voila. So I'm going to show you how to turn this little box and have it with this. So I'm going to show you everything. First thing you want to do is take a piece of cardstock and this here measure three and a half by four and three quarter again. Three and a half by four and three quarter. We're going to take our Simply Score board and put this on. I'm going to remove those pegs here. And we're going to start on the long way here at four and three quarter. And we're going to score at three quarter. And then we're going to score at three and a half and four and a quarter. So again, it's three quarter, three and a half, four and a quarter. Turn this around, and we're going to score at every three quarter inch. So it's going to be three quarter, one and a half, and two and one quarter. Whoops, stay straight there. I don't have my wax paper and it make a difference. If you rub wax paper, it glide much easier. And then three. The last one, it's not three quarter and that's what you want. So again, it's three quarter, one and a half, two and one quarter, and three. So this is already done. Let's remove this. I forgot my sticky strip here. And then we're going to take this and reinforce all your score very good. And do on every side. That's going to make your box much easier. Now this one, I don't want to, let's say that you don't want to put it with the dress. I'm going to take a wheel and we're going to wheel it up before we glue it. I think that would be cute too just the way it is. So I'm going to put some, uh, here we go, oh, that won't matter, it's going to be covered. Okay, so this is another way, if you don't want it, to put it in the dress, just wheel it up. Now, what we're going to do, this little part here, the tiny one, see when it's tiny, you want to get rid of this. And remember, you want to cut, you know, completely the score. If not, it don't fit nice. So remove this there and remove this over here. So now you get those two little tabs completely gone. Then the one that you just get one score in the bottom, this one you get two score. The one that you just get one, just snip. What I mean by snip, snip to your score line there. And you want to keep those little flat. So that's your bottom of your box. Now the top it's a little bit trickier. You want from where you took off, you want to keep all this. So you're going to keep all this one. So just cut to your score line. Keep all this. This one cut all the way to your score line. But the first step, take this off. I think it's time for me to go eat. I can see I'm shaking. And then this, the next one you want to take completely off. 
So you're going to take this off completely. The next one is just the tab here. Okay, this one I get a little bit of the score and I don't want that. Here we go. So again, the one with just one score at the bottom, you just want to snip them. You All the corner of the tiny piece, that's not three quarter, you want to keep this, but the each side you take that off and then you just snip. The one with the two score, the first one you keep all the way, the second you just take the the top off, then remove completely and then just the top. So see how this look. Now this is our tab that go inside. What you're going to do, snip and snip. So now you get a little point there. Now what you're going to do, on the side that it's face up, you're going to take your red sticky strip Here we go. Put this right there, right at the edge of your score line. And then rub this good. And now the toughest part is to remove that red cover there. Okay, to make a box very easy, leave it flat, push this down here, and just bring your tab to it. That make it very easy to do a box. Voila! Now you get your box. Now we're going to do the bottom and the front you see it's very smooth. So this is going to be the last step. You see this is your front. Put this down. Just add a little bit of snail here. Close this. Voila! And then we're going to close this one. It's the front, so it's the last one. So put snail on this one. And then the last one of all, just use a little bit of uh, this uh, red strip again. Now you're going to put this here. Oh my gosh, it's time for me to go heat. And next time I'm going to remember to do my video after I'm done eating. Well, maybe I'm going to, here we go, it's coming. Maybe not, here we go. So then this. So now voila, you get your lip gloss little box. Is that the cutest? Now, if you want to add that with a dress, I cut eight and a half by two and a uh, half, the strip on the short way there. You're going to cut your dress first and then just push this down and add this one more little thing. And the reason why you want to add that it's to make sure that you get your um, you get long enough to cover your box completely. I pre-done my dress and I think I think you can see I just emboss the like the skirt part. This is stay plain. What I'm going to do it's, I'm going to add a little ribbon here, so if I want to add a bow, it's easy. So what I would do, it's take glue dot that, oh, I do have them with me. Save, save. I'm going to add a glue dot right here. I'm going to put that down, then I'm going to add another glue dot. Bring this around, then I can trim my... Um, my ribbon after. Let's not worry about that. Now what I'm going to do on the back side, I'm going to use the red sticky oh, first let's add our layers. What we're going to do add a strip there, take your layers put that right there. Okay now to make sure you get this one the same what I'm going to do is put my glue there, put that in the back I go the I follow the sleeve on top. Then I'm gonna take my the other layer and put it in the back here. So then I can have the same length of my first one. If not, it's too hard to match. Voila. Take this off. Now take your red sticky strip and put a strip right here. 
and do the same thing on the other one. Yeah, I think the hardest thing on this uh, project is the red sticky strip. <laughs> so it's very simple. Add that there. And then I'm going to take off the other one. Make sure you rub this very good though before you uh, peel that up. Okay, now this is the front and this is the front of my box right there. So the front needs to go with the front. I'm going to put that flush right there. Make sure your box sit down. Okay, now I got my box. Now I'm going to take the other piece and try to match it. Oops, this here want to come off. Let me fix this here. If that's the case, that if your layer want to come off, just take glue dots and make sure the corner are secure. So then it won't come off. Here we go. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to try to match it. So I'm just going to go down the front. Whoops. And then rub this good. And then the other side. Voila! This is it to do your uh, lip blanc, uh, li <laughs> lip um, chapstick or whatever you call it to make your little container and then you can turn this into this. So I hope you learned something new. For all your stamping up needs, just visit my uh, blog at frenchystamps.com. Till next time, happy stamping!